Good afternoon. I am the Oklahoma Tomcat coming to you from Boise, Idaho. I want to talk about a subject that could get quite uh, confidential, I mean, uh, heated and stuff like that. Uh, and that is about face mask, wearing a face mask. Um, however, this video I do not want to turn into a debate. Okay. This isn't about whether we should or should not wear face masks. If you want that debate with me, go on over to Facebook and I have talked about it. Okay. But that's not what this topic is. Uh, I am a truck driver, if you can't tell by my surroundings. Um, and therefore I do go in, and I'm over the road truck driver. Therefore I do go into a lot of areas where by either law or the business is requiring face masks and I don't have much choice in the matter unless I want to go against the law and then get myself in trouble which financially is not to my best interest okay um, and while I do own my own company it's also not in my best interest to not just avoid areas where face masks are required which originally I was uh, wanting to do but as we go further and further into this uh, coronavirus uh, issue and as America's having trouble containing it um, we're seeing more and more states requiring wearing a face covering and we're having more and more uh, businesses requiring it and therefore it's I'm not gonna be able to avoid not wearing a face mask so what do I do? Um, I do have trouble wearing the face mask for extended periods and face covering has been an issue with me ever since I was a child. Uh, my parent, my mom would buy um, the ski masks and uh, scarves, you know, growing up in New York, you know, in the winter time, she always wanted us to wear it. I, I could not wear it for very long. And the issue I have is Number one, it's restricting the oxygen going into my lungs, and therefore I feel like I'm suffocating. The other issue is I always like the cold. I keep it cold in my truck. I keep it cold anywhere um, where I'm able to keep it cold. And I never cover my face uh, with blankets or anything like that. I like to breathe in the cold air. It um, just feels more comfortable to me. Uh, so wearing the face covering and you're exhaling the car, uh, warm air and bringing it right back in. Um, obviously going to be a problem for me. Okay, And it's not that I have any health issues. Actually, doctors will always compliment me on my health, especially when they find out that I was diagnosed with diabetes and I have it under control without any medication. Uh, I eat healthy. I uh, take good care of myself. I'm driving a flatbed, uh, so I'm getting plenty of, you know, moving around, exercise, and stuff like that. Um, not to mention I have Sasha here. Man, she's being lazy. Uh, who keeps me running around and uh, active also. So I'm in good health. Um, and therefore, I don't, and I can't go around, you know, saying, going into places saying, I can't cover my face because of health issues because I don't think I have health issues. I do not understand why some people can wear a mask 24 hours. <laughs> it seems like they're wearing it for 24 hours. So Chuck just started it. Um, but, uh, you know, wearing their mask for work and stuff like that. But yet, I, I have trouble just having it on for 10 minutes. But nonetheless, I I'm, I'm have to wear one whenever, you know, I go into places that require it. So what I'm doing is I have uh, what's called, I, they're called neck gaiters. Um, what it is, it's a cooling cloth where if you keep it wet, if you, if you uh, wet it, it keeps you real cool. I've worn these uh, before, 
when I've worked outside and stuff like that. And it does help out with the flatbed uh, when I have to be outside in uh, heat and stuff like that. Because, again, I like it cool. I, I have trouble with uh, the heat. I, I can be in extremely cold weather. And, but when it gets hot, humid, and stuff like that, I have a hard time. And a lot of that is because of the fact that, in my theory, you can always bundle up. There's only so much clothes you can take off. <laughs> um, so, summertime, I do have uh, problems. And these do help out with that. So, you know, this wearing these is not anything new for me. Um, and all I do is just wet it down and stuff like that. But there's another thing that it helps out with. While I still have issues with wearing the mask a long time because the breathing in the oxygen, you know, is restricted, it does allow me to keep cool while wearing a face covering. And that's all I do. Okay. Then I am legal going into the stores and stuff like that. Uh, going into any place where they say you have to have a face covering to check in and or going into states or counties or cities like Boise Idaho you gotta wear a face covering when you go into any public building um, so just an idea for people that may uh, find it more uh, difficult you know to comply with the law or the request of the business owners um, and and to everyone out there that's kind of like putting up a fuss and stuff like that I can understand you know when it's made a law you know to put up the fuss and everything um, however do keep in mind that private business owners uh, you know anyone who owns a business stuff like that they do have the right to say who can and kind of cannot go into their place okay I'm 100% for uh, the rights of owners uh, to say what governs their place okay uh, and therefore please don't give uh, business owners a hard time about you know if they require you to wear a mask and stuff like that if you don't want to wear a mask don't go into their business as simple as that okay it's like anything else that we uh, uh, come across you know I do believe business owners have the right to refuse service no matter what, even if I disagree with it, okay? Um, and like I said, you have a choice on whether you want to do business with them or not, okay? But don't give them a hard time also if uh, it is lawmakers telling them they have to, okay? Uh, it's not their fault, you know, that is, in my opinion, the voter's fault promoting that lawmaker in office um, also definitely 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 please do not give the employees a hard time they work there they have to do what their boss says okay and you don't know if they agree with it or not so don't give them a hard time don't give the business owner a hard time you know we have a choice on where we go and where we shop Okay. Y'all take care. God bless.